Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through rational numbers. In previous sessions, we discussed associative property of whole numbers and integers. Today we are going to check the associative property of rational numbers. We will start with addition. Take three rational numbers, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, and 1 by 5. Let's add them. When adding these numbers, we can group them into either 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 equals 1 by 2 plus 8 by 15 equals 31 by 30 or 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 equals 5 by 6 plus 1 by 5 equals 31 by 30. The results are the same, regardless of the grouping of the numbers. That is, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 equals 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5. We can see that grouping the numbers either way does not affect the result. In general, we can say that for any three rational numbers, A, B, and C, a plus B plus C equals A plus B plus C. Therefore, addition is associative for rational numbers. Now, let's look at the subtraction of rational numbers. We will continue with the same numbers, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, and 1 by 5. Let's group the operands in two different ways as follows and see what we get. First, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 equals 1 by 2 minus 2 by 15 equals 11 by 30. And second is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 equals 1 by 6 minus 1 by 5 equals minus 1 by 30. That is, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 is not equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5. Therefore, subtraction is not associative for rational numbers. Let's examine the multiplication of integers next using the same three rational numbers. 1 by 2, 1 by 3, and 1 by 5. While multiplying these numbers, we can again group them into either 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 5 equals 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 15 equals 1 by 30. Or 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 5 equals 1 by 6 multiplied by 1 by 5 equals 1 by 30. That is, 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 5 equals 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 5. As we have seen, in the case of addition, the results are the same, regardless of the grouping of the numbers. In general, we can say that for any three rational numbers A, B, and C, A multiplied by B multiplied by C equals A multiplied by B multiplied by C. Therefore, multiplication is associative for rational numbers. Finally, let's examine the division of rational numbers, again using the same three rational numbers, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, and 1 by 5. While dividing these numbers, we can again group them in two different ways as follows. First, 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 3 divided by 1 by 5 equals 1 by 2 divided by 
1 by 3 multiplied by 5 by 1 equals 1 by 2 divided by 5 by 3 equals 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 by 5 equals 3 by 10 and second 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 3 divided by 1 by 5 equals 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 by 1 divided by 1 by 5 equals 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 5 equals 3 by 2 multiplied by 5 by 1 equals 15 by 2. Hence, when dividing these numbers by grouping them in two different ways, we can easily say that the results are not equal. That is, the division is not associative for rational numbers. Let's recall what we discussed today. For any three rational numbers, A, B, and C. A plus B plus C equals A plus B plus C. And A multiplied by B multiplied by C equals A multiplied by B multiplied by C. While A minus B minus C not equal to a minus B minus C and A divided by B divided by C not equal to a divided by B divided by C. Hence, we can say that for rational numbers, addition and multiplication are associative, while subtraction and division are not associative. Before winding up, let's summarize the associative property of whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. We know whole numbers are the part of integers and rational numbers. Since the whole numbers are not associative for subtraction and division, the integers and rational numbers are also not associative for subtraction and division. Now, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Check the associative property for addition and multiplication for the numbers. A equals minus 1 by 3, B equals 4 by 7, and C equals 3 by 5. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.